What's up, my love? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today, y'all, we are going to be doing some tips for long-lasting makeup. I just wanted to make kind of a short video, not too drawn out how I usually do, because y'all know I talk a lot. <laughs> I just want to give you my top five tips of what I think are the best for making your makeup last all day long. It's summertime, the days are getting longer, we staying out, we got our beat on, you know? So we want to make sure that it is lasting all day. Today's video is made in partnership with Haley's Beauty, so shout out to them. And let's hop right into it. Before we do, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet, so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure that you hit that notification bell as well, so that you are updated when new videos go. Uh, all right y'all let's hop into this look a little less about the look more about the tips so let's hop into these tips <laughs> all right y'all so today we are focusing on just a few tips that i feel like are the best for long wearing makeup or makeup that you want to last all day the summer is here the days are longer <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes we just need our makeup to last just a little bit longer. So I just wanted to focus on a few tips, some of which I have mentioned before, said before, but I wanted to really focus in on them. That's kind of pretty much let you guys know why we do them and how they truly can help. So I am putting on my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And this is not necessarily one of the tips, but I will just, you know, throw in a little few nuggets in there throughout the video that's not really top level tips. But I feel like for a longer lasting makeup um, application, you definitely wanna use something that's gripping, um, something that's more like, maybe a little thicker, but something that I would definitely recommend the Milk Hydro Grip because it does really grip onto the product and kinda helps to make it, you know, just sit there, it's, which is what you want. So definitely wanna do that. We also did brows off camera. I've been doing good about doing brows on camera, so let me get a pass today. Some of you guys do not like that. The first tip that I would give is to obviously use long wearing products if you want your makeup to be long wearing, <laughs> right? <laughs> so last week we did do a full coverage, uh, updated full coverage makeup routine. So I am gonna actually be using the Tint Idol Ultra Wear from Lancome that we used last week. And my shade is uh, 510 Suede Cool. And that tip kind of seems like a no-brainer, but y'all, I feel like it's not a no-brainer. <laughs> there are definitely certain products that say that they are more long-wearing than others. They say they're going to last um, 14 hours, up to 24 hours, up to eight hours, you know? And I would definitely say that you want to aim towards those types of products because, oh, my hair, oh. <laughs> because they do, you know, they are saying that for a reason. They have things in them or ingredients that help it or they're formulated in a way to help it to last all day. So definitely go for more long wearing products. This one in particular is up to 24 hours of wear. But I also feel like with that claim, it's not necessarily about the coverage. Usually those 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 products are like more lightweight, but they also give you coverage. So I would say more long wearing products are folder coverage <laughs> and that's just that's just the nature of it I would say because you know if it's gonna last all, all day you gotta have some coverage because over the day just naturally it's gonna fade away so you gotta have coverage just so that so at the end of the day you might not have as much coverage but you still got a little something something you know if it was light coverage it's gonna be gone <laughs> So it kind of makes sense. The second tip I'm gonna give, which we're gonna kind of do within the next few steps, um, but I'm gonna mention it now since we're gonna be doing it. Let me hit my ears too. So they looking a little light. It's spraying your face between steps. You guys know that I love to use the Urban Decay All Nighter um, setting spray. And this is a setting spray that is extremely long lasting. Another thing, using products that say they're long lasting. It says up to 16 hour wear, it's lightweight. Lightweight, <laughs> which is what I just said. Usually these products will be lightweight, but they give that. Mm. So I'm gonna spray my face with this. Just a few little sprays, let it spray down. And then we're gonna get to concealer. Today we're gonna be using the Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer, which is from Haley's. And shout out to Haley's for sponsoring today's video. So first we're gonna go into the concealer. I have used Haley's products multiple times on my channel, so y'all already know. I've actually used this in one of our most recent new products. Uh, videos and the retouch powder I did use recently as well. So I love these products, but Haley's products are formulated with
with skin friendly ingredients. It's all about the skin, taking care of the skin. <laughs> and they are 100% vegan and cruelty free. So all my people out here who are trying to, you know, make better smart decisions with your makeup as far as the environment, Hailey is where to go. And the shade that I am gonna use or I have been using is medium tan warm. And you guys know that their conceal this concealer does have like a metal tip on it. And it's like gives kind of a cooling effect when you put it onto the face so you can just put it in dots. I'm so used to putting dots all over my face and blending it out anyway. So <laughs> that's what we are gonna do to apply this. So I'm just gonna add three dots underneath each eye and you pretty much just squeeze it out and then just blot it. And But this is the shade that's kind of Y'all know, usually I will go into like a more neutral shade and then a lighter shade. I feel like this is like a combination between the two. I am gonna be using the Haley sponge to blend this out. And if you watch me, you know I love this sponge. <laughs> you know that I love this sponge. It is super, super soft when I do wet it or damp it, cause you know you do wanna use a damp sponge. And then it also blends out perfectly and just makes you look extremely airbrushed, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and start to use this to blend out our concealer. And I hope we're close enough so you guys can see. I might get a little closer for this side, but the coverage of this concealer, you guys, is insane. And I mentioned that when I used it a few weeks ago as well, girl. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the coverage for me. That also brings me to the next tip that I have for you guys as far as long wearing makeup is how you apply your like cream and your liquid pro products as well as powder as well. The more you apply, the more cakey things can potentially get. <laughs> So you want to make sure that you are using formulas, like I said, that are lightweight, but also give you that coverage. So that way you can go, go in with one layer, blend it out, done. You know, because you have one less product, but it's better coverage, it's way less likely to cake up throughout the day. I don't know if that makes sense, but especially for a concealer like this one, it gives you the coverage that you need just with a little bit of concealer and you don't have to keep piling it on, which will tend to crease and melt and do all that stuff and look crazy by the end of the day. It's less is more, but it's all about choosing the correct products. And I did zoom in so you guys can see the application on this side. But as you can see, this does do a good job of evening out the skin tone. It also does reduce the look of wrinkles. And it also has a cream to powder formula that gives like a matte finish. If you know me, you know I'm not too, too crazy about the more luminous look just because I have more oily skin. And I always use the butt of the sponge to kind of blot around to make sure we're nice and blended, especially since I'm brightening and concealing at the same time. Time. But this sponge make it real easy. I'm just saying. <laughs> also want to mention too that you can recycle the tube. Uh, you do just have to cut off the metal tip though first. So while I go ahead and apply the rest of the concealer to the face, y'all know I want to put it in the areas where I need it to be and blend it out. We are going to be having a giveaway <laughs> on Instagram, giving away all of these Haley products that I'm using in this video. So the rules for the giveaway are in the description box. However, the giveaway is on Instagram. So you got to make sure you're following me on Instagram to see all the rules and to enter and all that jazz. First of all, baby, how we feeling? How we feeling? <laughs> Looking good, loving the coverage, loving, you know, that matte finish of it. It's kind of is drying down a little bit, which I really, really love because sometimes that goes hand in hand with the long lastingness of it. My next tip for long lasting makeup, y'all, is all about powder. So, it's really about how you use your powder, how you put it on, what applicators and stuff, brushes, sponges you actually use to put it on that really can make your makeup last all day long. So we're gonna be using today the Haley's Beauty Retouch Powder. I have used this multiple times before and it is relatively new. One thing I will say is to make sure that you are using something that is translucent. That's gonna change depending on what your you know, shade is. There are translucent powders that are deeper for deeper skin tones, so you don't get that flashback, don't get that like whiter type of vibe. But we are gonna be applying this with a brush today. And this brush is the Brilliant Powder Brush, which is from also from Haley's, which this brush you can use with multiple products, but we are going to use it with the translucent powder today to set the face. When it comes to how you use powder, you definitely wanna make sure that you do it based on your skin type. So if you have really dry skin, you might wanna make sure you're applying all of your powder with a brush it gives it a more light weight type of 
application. You don't get the dry patches and things like that. But if you're more oily, you might want to opt to apply it with a sponge and then go on top with a powder brush. If you don't use your powder, your product will more than likely come off a lot easier. <laughs> like you just got liquid and cream, you just gonna rub your face and it's gonna come right off and ain't nobody got time for that. On one side, I'm gonna tap the Brilliant Powder Brush into the Haley's Powder, tap it off and then add it to the face. But this powder is perfect because it's super, super fluffy and it kind of picks up the perfect amount of powder and it really helps to blur out that concealer, you see the difference is wet over here, but it's dry over here or it's set over here and it really just blurs everything out. But of course, like I said, if you have more oily skin or you feel like you really need to set that powder in, which you guys know I'm that type of person, I need, okay, I need sometimes to push my powder into my concealer so that it lasts as long as I need it to. So on this side, I am gonna take the Haley's sponge dip into that powder and push it in. But then I'm gonna take the Brilliant Powder Brush and apply that retouch powder all over the face. Cause the powder also does make your liquid foundation a little bit more lightweight and that is exactly what we want. Thank you again to Haley's Beauty for sponsoring today's video. And also you guys can get $5 off, $25 or more using my code Maya at Haley'sBeauty.com. And don't forget the giveaway. Make sure y'all check out that giveaway on Instagram if y'all wanna get your hands on these products. So the next tip that I will give is to make sure that we are layering cream products or and powder products of the same type. So, and we're not necessarily gonna do all of that today, but you guys have seen me do this multiple times where we'll go in with a cream bronzer, set the face, and then go in with a powder bronzer. Because when you layer it like that, and I've mentioned this before, it just takes longer for those products to disappear on the face, you know? Typically, I would do this before I set the face, but I try to kind of not set so much in this area so that we can still go in with a cream blush. So I'm gonna go in with this Milani Cheek Kiss. This is I Cherry Ish You, that's the shade. Like I said, if you really want to do this, add it before you add your powder because it is a cream formula, but my is just a little off on my order today so <laughs> but it still gives what it's supposed to give though so I'm adding a little bit of this over the nose as well and we're gonna layer on top of this with a powder blush because we want this to last longer when you have that liquid underneath and the powder on up top same thing with the concealer and with the foundation you know things just tend to last long so I'm gonna go into this ColourPop um, cheek palette this is the the name of this one is Tea Cakes. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is somewhat similar to that other one. And I'm gonna layer on top of the blush with the powder blush. And that is gonna help those two last a lot longer. And this can go for, like I said, like cream bronzer. It can go for contour. It can go for highlight, it can go for blush. That's definitely a tip that you want to follow if you really want it to last all day. And especially if you want like the color of a blush to last all day, make sure that you are putting on two different finishes of blushes so that they can really lock it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and add a bronzer today. The one I'm gonna use today is my Yacht Life bronzer from Minted. And like I said before, even though we did not do it, you would wanna make sure that you're using like a concealer all the way around or like a cream bronzer as well because this will further you know make it last longer give it more pigment and just give it give it a little bit more staying power you know and I am using the Haley's concealer to prime my eyes I put a little bit up there already but I needed to really like blend it out but that's another little tip that I will give for long lasting makeup as far as eye makeup is concerned, is making sure that you are priming your eyes like with a concealer or eyeshadow base or something because if you put Eyeshadow, I don't care if it's a shimmer shade, a matte shade, whatever the case may be. If you put it directly on your bare skin, which is nothing wrong with that. But if you do do that, be prepared for it to fade off a little bit throughout the day. I feel like priming the eyes definitely helps to make it long lasting. Um, if you look at an eye primer in the description and the claims about the products, it definitely will say it helps to make the product last longer or your pigment last longer or whatever the case may be. And for the eyes today, I do wanna do something kinda cute. So I think I'm gonna go into this Raw Beauty Christie by ColourPop palette. And I think I wanna go into this gold. It's been a while since we've done a gold. So we're not focusing too much on the eyes today, but I do wanna do a little. A little sum sum, you know what I'm saying? Like a little sum sum. Y'all already know how we roll. We got to zoom in, sis. We got to zoom in. 
And I am setting the eye a smidge with the retouch powder as well. So I think I wanna go into Homegrown right here. We're gonna do like a little gold look. And this is a nice deep brown shade. I'm going to stamp it in my inner corners and then bring it over the lid. And then use circular motions just to go ahead and blend that out. Also adding that shade on my bottom lash line in the corners per usual. And set in the eye, that also is a long lasting tip for matte shades. You definitely wanna make sure you do that so your matte really stays put. And you get the color that you were looking for with that shade. Cause sometimes when it's wet, it can change the color completely. And that ain't what we want. So next I'm just gonna take the shade West Coast, which is right here, this nice gold shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the lid. Very, very pretty. Actually, I would say this brush is way too big. You see how it's kind of just taken over? So I'm gonna fix that, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna go into a shader brush that's a little smaller and just kind of diffuse those edges and let it stay where I wanted it to stay. Another long lasting tip that I'll give as far as eyeshadow or shimmer shades is concerned is to first go into something that is cream as well. Kind of that same idea of putting a cream or a liquid and then covering it with that powder. You can do the same thing with eyeshadow, like a stick or, you know, something wet and then use this powder to go over it to really set it in place. The last step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this shade Rainer right here and I'm gonna put it right on the edge of those two shades to kind of give us a little bit more dimension. It's giving us more sunset vibes now, sis. I like it, I like it. Oh, that's pretty. I love that, that is super cute. And that's it y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mascara and pop my lashes on and that's it for the eyes. And the lashes we're using today are from Tati Lashes in the style Rich AF. The last thing we're doing for the face is adding highlighter. I'm actually gonna use my Maybelline Master Chrome, which is falling apart. Um, but I'm gonna use this today to add highlight to the face. But like I said before, it's the same situation as if you want it to last longer. While everything is still wet, you wanna add like a liquid highlighter and then layer back on top with this cause that just will further make it last longer. Now before we finish off with the lip, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face one more time. I did spray my face, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys the times that I sprayed my face. I don't think I showed them all on camera. I sprayed my face after foundation. I sprayed my face before powder. So after I blended out my concealer before powder, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it now. Which obviously is the last time I'm gonna take my Haley sponge and go ahead and push that into the face. That is another little free tip <laughs> for long lasting makeup is to either dry down your spray quickly at the end like this, or to take your sponge and press it into the skin and that will help it to last a little bit longer. Again, with the lips, we are doing the long lasting products. So I'm gonna go into the long lasting liquid lipstick, which is the name of the product from Ofra. I'm gonna use Brooklyn, which is a brown, and I'm actually gonna use this like as a liner kind of. And then I don't want this to be super, super dark, so I do wanna go in with something else. Same product, which is long lasting. Um, this is in the shade Revive. Put this in the middle and blot it out. Do we like this, y'all? It's giving cool vibes where the eyes are giving warm vibes. So it's throwing me off a bit. Let's see if we, let's replace that. So I'm layering the shade Bel Air over that. That's a lot better. And I'm just gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush to kind of blend this out a little bit. So I don't necessarily want an ombre today. I just want like a nude lip. But we all know that liquid lipsticks are the most long wearing um, lip product probably out there in the market right now. It's always a great bet and there's so many different formulas. There's also so many different shades you can choose from. So this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see how we are looking, especially the skin and the concealer and the powder and how very flawless everything is looking. And we're gonna wrap this video up. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I hope you guys really like this video and this tutorial. It was a little less about the look today, a little bit more about just how to make your makeup more long lasting. I just wanted to do some quick top level tips of some of my favorite tips that I feel like would really stretch out that wear. Thank you again to Haley's for sponsoring today's video. Please make sure that you guys do enter the giveaway on my Instagram, as well as use my code Maya for $5 off, $25 or more at haleysbeauty.com. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought, if you have ever used these tips, if they work for you, if they don't, girl, get a girl's a tea. Make sure you hit subscribe if you have not yet, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.